I haven't visited this mall since I was a kid. Usually I just pass it up on my way home. But today, I was feeling a bit nostalgic. The child in me must have been yearning to see it again. A weird, dreamlike atmosphere filled the air. The memories were far too old to be clear. But I do know that the empty shop in front of me used to be a funk land. That's who used to sell games before GameStop came around. It's also where I bought the Dreamcast that I own to this day, and the NES that my sister took to her house. The sign for the store was still up. Weirdly enough, part of it was hanging down, with caution tape surrounding it. And I didn't understand why there were still games inside of a company store that must have been abandoned for years now. I wanted to explore inside, but as I neared the entrance, a nearby employee motioned me away from the store. And since I didn't want to ruin a good time by being thrown out, I just went on my way. After a bit of walking, I noticed that most of the mall had very few customers. There were a couple of stores that were still open. All of them seemed like they hadn't been renovated in years. I may just be making assumptions, but I don't think this mall has done well in finances over the years. This was more evident to me in my next discovery. As I walked to another portion of the mall, I noticed that many of the stores were just closed outright, but that's wide open. Usually you see a large steel curtain covering these empty spaces, but instead, the businesses were just abandoned and left to decay. This part of the mall was not as staffed as the rest, so I took it upon myself to explore the broken down retail shops that were there. Continuing on to the second floor, I began to see a drastic change. From what I could see, this entire floor was completely empty. No one staffing the area. No struggling business. No customers. I was shocked that the stairs to this floor hadn't been closed off. I walked to the back left corner of the main area. And I was greeted by a long, dark hallway. Until now, I had never thought about how odd it would be to see an area of a running business without proper lighting. This just seemed too sketchy. Too out of place. Uh, what am I saying? This whole mall has been out of place. I questioned myself a few times. I went back and forth. Each time walking about five steps to the staircase... Before I tapped the flashlight icon on my phone and decided that I'd come too far to go back now. I wish I hadn't. The newly lit hallway was dingy, disgusting. There were dilapidated posters on the wall of restaurant chains that had been run out of business, old movies, and current events that weren't so current anymore. The walls then turned to a brick surface on one side, and closed shops on the other. At this point, I could see an employee's only door at the end of the hallway. When I neared closer, I realized that the door was left wide open, and it led to a lit staircase. Since there was no staff in this area, figured that the stairwell was also abandoned, and most likely, I wouldn't be caught exploring this area. Going downstairs would be pointless, and could have got me in big trouble. So I decided to take the stairs around the bend to the roof. But there was no roof. Just a door that was either locked or warped to the point that it couldn't be open. 
and there were more stairs. I remember thinking how impossible that was. I know that I saw a skylight when I was down on the second floor, and the whole mall was just a flat box on the outside. Disregarding my thoughts, I found myself being drawn to the next floor. Maybe it was curiosity or just stupidity. Either way, what I found on the fourth floor was not what I expected. Step by step, my anticipation doubled. It was coupled with the feeling of intense anxiety. Time had slowed, and each step was accompanied by a sharp, clenching pain in my stomach. The lights grew dimmer as I neared the turning point. Once again, there was no roof on this floor, only a set of stairs leading higher, and another set that led to an open door. Suddenly, the lights behind the door flashed on, and I could see a man standing just beyond it. I, I tried to explain it to myself, but no words would leave my mouth. I, I then realized that there were even more people behind the man in front. That's when they spoke to me. Collectively. They said, Don't go to the fifth floor. I stared for a moment and shrugged it off. I thought my mind must have been playing tricks on me. There couldn't have been anyone in this part of the building, and if they were, they would be escorting me out. I figured that it must have been my own fear telling me not to go further. But I was too strong for that. Or so I thought. The lights in the room went off again. And I made my way up the other stairs. The fifth floor. Don't go to the fifth floor. While I was right with courage for a short moment, this phrase began to replace that courage with something else. I'm not too sure what I felt at the time, but it was something stronger than fear, and much stronger than myself. The door to the fifth floor was just barely cocked open. A cold wind escaped the crack in which a dim light pervaded. As I neared the door, I blacked out. I'm not sure how I got to the hospital. I've asked nurses and doctors. I've even called family members and asked them what could have happened. They either didn't know or they didn't respond. No one will give me any answers as to what happened. And apparently... The mall had been closed for 12 years now. Even stranger. There was no fifth floor. Or was there a fourth? Or a third? But I still have the photographs. I know I was there. Inside a boarded up mall. In a place that doesn't exist. <laughs>